Hey, welcome back. So, oh, that ghost is dead. What? Um, what was I gonna talk about today? Uh, we'll talk about Napoleon tomorrow, I think. Um, I wanted to talk about that that thing I brought up a couple days ago, like disconnecting from reality or something. Um, so this might have something to do with the medicine. So here's, here's an example of ha when this has happened. Tuesday, when I went to the improv for the first time, we played a bunch of games where like, I was the center of attention and like people were looking at me and people were saying my name. There's a game where you throw a ball to somebody and you just say their name. Or you throw the ball to somebody and you say your own name. And if I had done that, kind of game three years ago or whatever before I was taking medicine before I was doing therapy anytime my name anytime I was in any kind of a attention or spotlight I would get a immediate like sting of anxiety like Ugh, people are looking at me <laughs> I don't like it <laughs> um like the leader of the group looked at me and he threw me the ball and he's like, Anthony. Um, and I didn't feel anything when he did that. And there's a part of me that, that I mentioned that to, you, to my last therapist and she's just kind of dismissed it. And I mentioned it to this therapist and she's like, okay, maybe we should not be taking the medicine anymore because I, the way I explained it is like I didn't really feel like he was talking to me and that's why I wasn't nervous um, like he looked at me but it didn't seem it seemed it's really hard to explain like it seemed different than like when people look at me in the past and I'm like oh he's looking into my soul or something and that's like too much right like that's bad but then also I'm missing a connection with people because I'm like, I'm not really connecting with them because I don't really feel like they're looking at me or something. And that's when the therapist was like, maybe we should taper off the medicine. And then today I stopped taking the medicine by accident and I got depressed. So maybe I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, um, Remember the fire escape thing. What was the fire escape thing? I think high school kids just suck at being people. Adults are nicer. I think I've probably talked about the fire escape thing before. When I was in high school, there was a thing called fire escape, which was a church event where like all the cool church people went and they had like a party, but like with no drugs or anything um except except the drug of jesus and i tried to go once because well i remember i kind of volunteered to help set up because i thought okay that's a good way to kind of sneak into this thing because I don't have any friends, like, so, like, I'll just go and help set up, and maybe you'll, like, make a friend when you're helping set up or something. That didn't happen. <laughs> um, why, why did I connect that? Um, oh, I remember people saying, like, just go, it'll be fun when you get there. So that's what, that's what's happening now with improv. I get nervous before. And then I hear these people in my head, like, from my past, being like, oh, just go. Like, you're nervous now, but it'll be fun. Um, and I would always go, and it would never be fun. And so I'd be like, you guys are wrong. But now, if they had told me that now, they would be right. 
because I went and I'd have fun. I don't know. That's a stupid point. And so I was remembering the fire escape thing because I think probably maybe my parents told me that or something. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. Like, oh, just go and, you know, it'll be fun. Like, there's church people there. And I always, I was like, no, I've always done this and it's never fun. Like, you don't know me. You don't know my business. <laughs> you don't know what's going on up, up in my brain. And so when I went to this fire escape thing, I was there for like half an hour and then I called my parents and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Get me out. And it was, it felt like a, a defeat, like I failed. Um, I probably cried when I got home because <laughs> I was like, I, I, fa I failed. I was supposed to be social and have friends and I, I couldn't do it. I didn't like it. I remember they had pizza and I had a pizza with olives on it and I like, I hated it. <laughs> and everybody like, so we helped set up for like a half an hour. And then they got pizza for everybody who helped. And I just sat there. I didn't talk to anybody. Um, I ate the terrible pizza that I hated. And then it was time for the party part. And, and I gave it a shot for a couple minutes. I was like walking around. There's like a band playing and there's like games and stuff. And I, and I, I went into like the back room and I called my parents and I was like, I'm done setting up. Can you come pick me up? And, then, and they're like, are you sure? Like, you don't want to stay for the fun part? And I was like, no, I can't do this. Um, okay, so where's the shrine? The shrine of the silver monkey. Uh, so I did the first one. The second one is in the Eastern Vault. The second grave can be found in the Eastern Vault. Fast travel to the interior the, where you fought that. Okay, I can do that. Um, I got, yeah, I mean, that's it for that note. And, uh, that was depressing. I think it just go in here. My brain is like, he's not looking at you. It doesn't feel like I'm there, which sounds bad. Whatever. Napoleon. Let's leave Napoleon for tomorrow. Um, tell a kid the reason you can't curse is the same as driving. What was that note? <laughs> That's stupid. I guess I was thinking, like, if I had a kid, why would I tell him not to curse? And it would just be like, um, well, it's the same reason you can't drink and you can't drive. It's like you're not old enough to, to use cursing in a, um, responsible way. Where's the thing? That's a stupid note. Uh, we could talk about abortion again. No, I don't want to do that. Where do I go? Oh, cool, 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 cool. This has got to be it. Um, the fact that I couldn't answer the channel question is proof that I need to say the words at least once to have them. I didn't have them because I never said them. That was a podcast note. How I did a bad job answering that channel question because I never talked about it. And that's proof that my theory about having to say something. Uh, whatever. Where am I going? Oh, I don't like this game. Where are the freaking shrines? Um, went to Sea World. Um, I talked to somebody on Hinge. 
I'm probably actually going to meet her. I invited her to... S well, I, I don't know. I mean, this person isn't really talking to me that much. But I invited her to, to see the Marvel movie, Doctor Strange. I think we're going to do that next week. But... I don't really expect much to come out of it. <laughs> I don't know. Because I just, I don't, I don't know. Maybe she's just not like a texter, which is fine. I'm not expecting anything. But I'm going, because the therapist wants me to go. Even though I still kind of feel like, if I kind of know that I'm not going to like the person, maybe I should go, because that's could be... Like, I'm using them. But we already talked about that, and I came to the conclusion that I guess one date is fine. <laughs> um, so, should I tell her about the improv thing? Maybe she would come and watch me? Uh, I, I wouldn't like that. Come watch me do improv. Oh, I remember this part. You go up here, and it's like, wait, where do I go? And then you come back here, and it's like, oh. <laughs> Shoot him with the thing. Okay, is that it for the day? Yep. I still think, I was just thinking about it because there's miasma in this game, and I still think of it, like, my favorite, I wish I could think of more things like this. My favorite thing I think I've ever said on this channel is when I, um, was playing Metroid Prime, and I was in the miasma, and I was like, I can't breathe in this miasma because of my asthma. <laughs> I, I wish I could think of more stuff like that, like on on the fly. Like that's what I want to do with improv is like be funnier and think of stuff like that because that makes me laugh. And <laughs> I like, I feel good about myself like when I can make myself laugh like that and I say stupid stuff. Um, when I did the improv yesterday, I had a couple, I heard a couple giggles when I talked. Um, I did a scene where I was a boss, and I was, like, I was being a high-status person, and I was, like, yelling at my employee, like, you're not reaching your numbers, you gotta sell more TVs, <laughs> and I was being, like, super arrogant and annoying, I kind of like playing that character, because, like, he, I just hate him so much, <laughs> it's fun to play a character that, like, you th hate, like, a terrible boss, like, oh my god, if this person was real, I would want to murder him. It's fun to do that. Um, and... People were, people were laughing, I think, just because I was being so mean to him, and it's just kind of funny to hear me be mean, because I'm, like, <laughs> very quiet and... I had a couple lines where I'm like, you need to be more confident like I am. <laughs> and people, I got a laugh because people, I think, even people there that don't know me that well, they know that, like, I'm not a confident person. So it's kind of funny. I need to do that more in improv is, like, people make an assumption about me, and then you kind of play with that assumption, right? Like, people think I'm quiet and not very confident, and I'm not. So if I play a character who's super confident, it's kind of funny, because that's not me. Um, but yeah, last week I was, uh, I remember talking about like, oh, I was doing so good. Uh, I, I figured out how to do improv. And then this week I was like, I, I was awful. I messed everything up. All the scenes I did were bad. Um, I couldn't figure it out. Like I was sitting in one of these scenes and I'm just like trying to figure out what is this scene about? What can I make it about? I sat there for like five minutes. I don't know what to say. 
but I still enjoyed it, which is good. Like, even though it went bad, that's a sign of something that you like, is like, even when it's not perfect, you still like doing it and you still like getting better. And everybody was super nice, even though I blew it. And my seam partner was like, you suck because you're blocking everything I say. <laughs> And I was like, yes, you're right. Okay, uh, see you tomorrow.